Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Lily Collins inspired look and it's super simple and super easy so let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to want to make your skin look flawless by using your favorite foundation or powder and the next steps are super super simple and Lily Collins is known for her eyebrows. Her eyebrows are insanely amazing and I'm so jealous of them because my eyebrows sort of suck and yeah so Let's get started. I've already got one eye done and it's a super, 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 super minimalist eye makeup, but more about the brows and like the face and stuff. Okay, so let's get started with the eyes. And okay. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do, even because even though you're having little like eye makeup on, you're gonna start with a primer and I'm going to be using the Tarte primer for now and just put that all over your lid. Yeah, I put it on super messily. Messily, is that a word? That's an adverb, I believe. Okay, and then taking your ring finger, um, blend that in and use your ring finger because I'm not using my ring finger, but it's recommended to use your ring finger because it's a weaker finger on your hand. So yeah, blend that in. Alright, so the little shadow that we use stays on. So taking a flat brush and a shimmery um, cream color like this, we're going to put that all over um, on the lid and then we're going to use it to highlight the brow later. Okay, sorry. Oh. But on your lid, like an eyeball section. And so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna move on to eyeliner. So I'm gonna line the bottom lash line super, super thin. And that will be the liner that we're going to use. And I just lined with a black liner. And then we're going to curl your top lashes. And then apply your favorite mascara. I'm going to be using the Cargo 3 Triple Action Mascara. Because I love the brush. Like, look at the brush. It's amazing. And the formula of the two. And get your lashes super big and plump and all that jazz. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the brows. This is the Holy Grail for Lily Collins. She is absolutely known for her brows, and if some of you didn't know, she actually somebody made a Twitter page for her eyebrows. I mean, that's a little weird for me, but I, that shows how like her eyebrows are iconic basically. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to be using this brow pencil and it's a bike hover girl. It's the, um, it's in the shade midnight brown. And I, I would recommend warming up your brow pencils on. So what you're going to do instead, you're not going to draw on where brows are like are not what you're gonna do is you're gonna lightly go over where the hairs are lighter and just do that. So I'm gonna start by doing that. We're not coloring in or creating new brows. We're just defining the brow that is already there. And then I'm going to just go over with a lighter brown shadow. I don't know why I do this. I just feel like it's extra security. Or you could put wax on it or something. I don't do my brows a lot. Okay, I never do my brows. And 
And this will just fill in the little gaps that are missing. Yeah. So now that your brows are super crazy defined and um, all that fun stuff, you got to make sure that your brows are even because you don't want to like have a lopsided brow or a lopsided face. You know, that's never what you want. All right, and now taking that shimmering color that we used before, the shimmering cream color, we're going to highlight our brows because, I mean, the brow is the look. With doing your brows, practice definitely makes perfect. Like, I never do my brows, so I'm not very good at it, but, you know, I can do it, but it's not my specialty, you know? Okay. Okay. And now for the rest of the face. Lily Collins sort of looks flushed sometimes. So I'm going to be using a corally pink blush. And it's just gorgeous. And using a stippling brush because I feel like that looks truest to color. It like looks like you're actually blushing instead of like you put on a whole bunch of blush, you know? Just pat that in. Okay, and then once you get the blush look that you would like, um, we are going to sort of define out, we're just gonna put on a teensy teensy bit of bronzer. I'm using the Fit Me bronzer, the light color. Okay, so I'm gonna just put that on to give the look a little bit more dimension. And then put bronzer in where you need to bronze, like making the three, three is like the C3 thing. Okay. Now what we're going to do to top off the look is we're just going to do a simple lip color and I'm actually using an elf plumping lip gloss it's not plumping but that's it's in the shade mauve 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 berry it's this berry color and then we're just gonna put that on our lip for a little bit of extra shine and that is the completed look so once you've done that it's Really, this look is very Lily Collins because of the brows. And if you wanted to make it even more look like her, you could um, put your hair in waves. And if you want to see a Lily Collins hair tutorial, I can totally do that. So subscribe, request, and I will be getting a new camera for my birthday. And that is coming up very, very soon. So the video quality will be a lot better. And I'm hoping to get some... Um, editing software so comment below tell me what your favorite editing software is and I will link all the products that were used today in the down bar below and it's very few but yeah I'll link those so yeah subscribe request and see you next time